Okay, sorry. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> All right, so. Welcome to another episode of You Can't Handle the Tooth. This is Dr. J, the Real Floss Boss, uh, coming at you with another exciting dental video. All right? You're like, how can it be exciting? Well, I try to think of things that you guys deal with, right? With your teeth, with your breath, with your gums. And I hope you find them useful. Uh, from time to time, I, I seriously, I still get stuff on Snapchat, which I don't do a lot anymore, but I still get some people who follow me on Snapchat. and uh, But mostly Instagram. I get messages literally from all over the world. Uh, it can be other dentists asking about things we do or patients asking about things we, we can do for them. So please keep the questions coming. That's what I want to do. I just want to provide information for you so that you can... Uh, you know, make the best decisions possible for your dental health wherever you seek that dental care, okay? So uh, today I wanna to talk about dental emergencies. And I was just thinking, gosh, you know, my team members, they travel a lot. I got family that travels a lot. Um, you know, I'm, I go pretty frequently to, to different places and I have patients that'll come in with, uh, with, with problems and then they'll say something like, you know what, I'm going on a cruise next week what do I do if something happens? Or they'll they'll be traveling and they'll say, I didn't know what to do. So I try to think of a couple of the real common emergencies and some quick things that you may be able to do to fix them or alleviate pain or something like that if you're out of town and can't get a hold of a dentist. So I think it's always safe if you're traveling to a place that there's not good care if you're going on a cruise to maybe a third world country or somewhere where healthcare is not so great, you should always pack some antibiotics with you. You know, you should always just have some amoxicillin, uh, maybe a Z pack or something like that that you'll have just in case something goes wrong and you know it's going to be several days before you can get to a physician. Okay, so that's a, that's the number one tip. Uh, but if you're going somewhere where there is good care or you have good drug stores and things like that, then um, what possible dental emergencies could occur, okay? Number one, you could get ulcers. Sometimes people who've never had ulcers, they don't really know how to deal with them. And so uh, basically an ulcer is on the soft tissue inside of your mouth, inside of your lip, or, uh, um, and it's usually on movable tissue. The gums that are attached to your teeth, those gums don't move very much, okay? So you can get them on your tongue, the underside of your tongue, on your cheeks, inside of your lip, those are called ulcers. There's a whole nother video on these aphthous ulcers or traumatic ulcers. If you get one of those, there's really nothing you can do to get rid of it. That's one of those things that's just gonna be with you for 10 to 14 days, uh, but you can alleviate the pain. There's a, you know, there's all the most common anesthetics, Ambisol, uh, stuff like that, but the one thing that I like the best for those type of uh, lesions is called Aura Base, Aura Base. So Aura Gel is another good one, but Aura Base is the best. Uh, it's a little uh, pasty, and uh, and you can uh, dry the area really good with some tissue, and then apply it on there, and it will numb up the area, so it won't be so gosh darn irritating. Okay, so that's what you would do for ulcers. Uh, fever blisters. Oh man, that's another thing. If you already know you have fever blisters, you should have whatever medicine you use to treat it on hand whenever you're traveling. Okay, it's usually a Ciclovir is the drug, um, a Breva, a Valtrex. I mean, there's different uh, medications that people treat um, fever blisters with. Um, but if you've never had one before, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So there's Camphophenique, there's other uh, um, over-the-counter um, medications that you can put on them. Uh, but early treatment for fever blisters is best. So if you do have uh, a prescription for an acyclovir or for Valtrex or something like that, as soon as you start to feel it tingle, you need to apply the topical or take the pill, okay? Just as soon as you start to feel it. Once it starts to manifest itself, it's too late. And then you're just treating symptoms again, which is like an irritating scab thing, you know, that's not nice, okay? They're angry, and so you want to get something to put on that to help dry it up as quickly as you can, okay? 
All right, what else? Let's talk about uh, gum issues. We have people sometimes get stuff stuck in their gums. They eat a Dorito chip. I've seen people with chicken bones stuck in places. I've seen people with partials, those little partials that have the metal clasp come in with those things lodged in their lip, hanging in their lip. All kinds of freaky accidents that can happen out there that's dental related, okay? So if you have something going on with your gums, again, you're going to want one of those anesthetics to help. Um, if you get something stuck in between your teeth, one of the tricks, I think we've done this as a tooth tip, it's uh, Tooth Tip Tuesday, is uh, to tie the floss in a knot. Here is the tip. Floss. Tie it in a knot. And if it's a big space, tie it in a double knot right on top of each other. And then take that knot and drag it through and you will pull out everything that nags you. So that you can really get in there and start dragging stuff out of there. It'll be irritated for a little bit, but once you get it cleaned out, the healing process will begin and things will start to feel better. You can always use a rinse, a mouthwash to clean things and disinfect things really good, okay? Now, with the teeth, what if something goes wrong with your teeth? Perhaps you have a crown that comes off. Uh, or a temporary that comes off, you can always go and buy what's called temporary dental filling or temporary dental cement. Most major drugstores have them. The drugstore at the Walmart section will have it at the Walmart. <laughs> it's kind of like what you know, Grandma Lynn used to say, we're going to the Walmart. So if you, uh, they have a drugstore section like all other stores and they will find, you'll find a temporary dental cement in there that will help, uh, it will help, right? Put them back in place so that you can function uh, until you get back home to see your dentist. Uh, if you have a tooth break, they have a temporary dental filling. Sometimes when teeth break but they're still savable, they can be really sensitive. And so uh, you want to get that covered up. And so the temporary dental filling is really good for that. It'll, you, you know, you have to do a little, you have to become a dentist. Uh, you'll dry the area really good and apply it there to cover the exposed part and that will help you get through your meals for the next few days until you can see a dentist, okay? Other things that can happen, wild and crazy accidents, people get punched in the face, they fall, they have accidents, and teeth break. Sometimes teeth even come out, okay? I know that that sounds crazy for a lot of people, but it happens. Um, if, if you have a tooth that breaks, like you fall down and something breaks or it, it comes out, people, the big question is, do, you know, what, what do I do with my tooth? I want to rush to a dentist as soon as I can, but what do I do with it? So uh, you have an order of uh, liquids that you should put them in, okay? Number one would be your own saliva, okay? That would be number one. Number two might be some milk. Um, number three would be water. Sometimes they can be re-implanted or implanted, you know, and uh, and, sa and saved. Um, but um, a, a lot of times they can't. But if you want the best chance, you need to keep the tooth hydrated and uh, and drop it in a little baggie of your own saliva. That's actually the best uh, solution, okay? So anyway, I hope we've touched uh, all of the uh, potential emergencies. This was meant to be sort of a, you know, just on the surface, things that you can do uh, when you're in a pinch and you need to, to fix something dentally. I hope this has helped, and uh, please, uh, you know, like the video and uh, let us know if there's anything else we can uh, uh, offer to you guys in the way of information. That's what we really want to do. So this is Dr. J, the Real Floss Boss, signing off. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of You Can't Handle the Tooth. See you next time. Are we rolling? We're rolling. I just saw Emily change the battery in her camera. She's like the Terminator, okay? It's like, the clip comes out, the next clip goes in, and we're rolling, okay? That's how she is, how she rolls. She's a Terminator. People have little chicken bones. Do you need to pause? Yeah, Are you, but you can finish. Well, I thought I would stop right there. Okay, perfect. Um, I've had, I've seen it all. <laughs>